This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, good, Sachi's alive. And now we hopefully don't have to see that lewd CG again. It's pretty common to hear something of or other described as a microcosm of society. In particular, school is a highly popular choice. It's practically a cliché that you can judge the health of a country by the condition of its classrooms. Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> Declining academic performance, drug abuse, all the way up to violent juvenile crime, you can interpret pretty much any schoolyard problem as a reflection of societal decay if you want to. But even as someone who tends to look on such arguments with skepticism, it's clear to me that the malign influence of our national slide into depravity has begun to rear its ugly head in this isolated academy of ours. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the heck is going on? I think at this point we need to just leave the classroom and not ask any questions. Okay, this is gross. First thing in the morning, a completely random spanking show is unfolding before my eyes. One can only grieve for the future of our nation. Curious to see how the others are reacting to this shameful display, I look around the classroom to find... <laughs> how is Michiru becoming one of the most normal... How is it Michiru and Yumiko are becoming the most normal characters in the game? A grimacing observer, her face all but saying, Gah, I thought those two were getting into some weird territory lately, but this is taking things to a whole new level of awkward. And Amine's just whistling while she works, like Snow White taught us. A casual observer, humming to herself as she prepares for class, who glances over briefly with an expression that reads, Ah, so that's today's game. <laughs> and finally, an observer who feigns total disinterest, even as she peeps past the book in front of her to take in every moment of the show. An intriguing, colorful range of variation. Perhaps one could interpret this as necessary stimulation to a stagnant group dynamic? No! Have you seen what this school allows? What? Well. <laughs> Why do I have to do it? Germ. Pushed pushed forward by Michiru, I reluctantly initiate an inter <laughs> an intervention with the pair of girls on the teacher's platform. Sachi, mind explaining this? Okay. Why? Yes, I can see that. I'm asking you why you felt the need to do so. Makina asked for this? Lord, give me patience. Ah. Right, when Sachi came to her senses in Amine's room... Oh, boy. And Sachi's not really capable of recognizing that as a joke. I had an ominous premonition the moment I heard that sentence, but you really did go through with it. In public, even. Oh boy, Sachi. Maybe it felt that way to Sachi, but I somehow doubt Makina was taking it quite that seriously. A plot. I do not want to read this. Okay! Pipe down, Peanut Gallery. If you're interested, look it up on the internet in your own time. No, it's a trap! A denial this unconvincing is a rare fiend in its own right. Oh yeah, me sure I wouldn't have known about that. Okay, let me tell you a story about how my life got flipped turned upside down. 
It'd take a while to explain it in full, but I'm sure a wise young woman like yourself would already have a rough idea of what occurred, right? She was, she was probably asleep. Oh boy. Wow! I don't know why Sachi's saying all these really cutting things to Michiru. <laughs> she knows the Michiru was the other one I was considering. Sachi has some savage days, to be sure. Remember, amazing can be good or bad. Well, to get back to the point, I can't say I approve of putting out an er putting on an early morning spanking show in the classroom. I'm not going to stop it, but your choice of lighting isn't the problem here. Actually, depending on the scenario... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Understood. I'm definitely glad these Grisea streams are on Saturday, because after I stream this, I generally am very happy that I'll be able to go to church tomorrow. <laughs> to atone. <laughs> Thank you. As Amine drags Makina away by the scruff of her neck, Sachi heads obediently back to her seat, a satisfied expression on her face. Hmm. Makina's clearly responsible for turning her spanking into some kind of public humiliation show, but I'm pretty sure Sachi was the one who brought up the topic in the first place. Dutifully remembering a favor that otherwise might well have been forgotten, she proactively carried it out with genuine enthusiasm. On the abstract level, Sachi sounds like a model class representative, but when you consider the specific details, it's hard to shake the feeling that something stranger is lurking behind her behavior. Might be worth seeing what the higher-ups have to say about this. After polishing off my simple lunch of homemade rice balls, I head to the principal's office. Having a productive day? Did your wagashi cakes compliment the tea? Don't know what those are. Ooh, jelly rolls! Ho ho ho! Since she answered my valiant attempt at small talk with a smile, Chizuru seems to be reasonably receptive to my sudden visit. <laughs> I really like the principal, honestly. <laughs> she's pretty... She's genuinely normal and just like, oh boy, what have I gotten myself into here? <laughs> right, I've got a question for you as the principal of this academy, Chizuru. I want to ask you something about our class representative, Komunisachi, that is. What's that supposed to mean? Alright then. We had a bit of an incident yesterday. Sachi stayed in a hot bath long enough that she actually fainted. And that was instigated by nothing more than an offhand comment from Makina about counting to 10,000 in the bath. So. You don't seem particularly surprised. Is this sort of behavior a recent development, or have you some seen something of this sort before? So, yeah. Aha! Tell me more, tell me more! Wow! Daredevil Sachi! Come to think of it, I remember someone telling me about that one. Nothing serious came of that? 
そこは業者の人にやってもらうから大丈夫って叫んだらすぐに校舎の中に戻ってくれたわよ I see Despite all the strange ideas she gets in her head it does seem that Sachi consistently listens to reason That's a silver lining to be sure それで私からそれを聞いたあなたはどうするつもりなの At the moment, I don't intend to do anything in particular. If anything, I suppose my short term objective is just to confirm how much the principal of this school really knows about her pupils. I don't? Hmm. True enough. Somehow or other, the woman I'm speaking with has been entrusted with control of Mahama Academy as an organization. I suppose it's only natural that she'd be thoroughly familiar with the quirks of the handful of students under her supervi supervision? Yeah, I've once again realized that you're a fine woman. Smoothly switching her crossed legs, Chizuru offers me a, prototy a prototypical composed older woman's smile. Doesn't that kind of violate some privacy act? No, that won't be necessary. I know, I know it's not the same as like doctor patient confidentiality, but isn't there something like that with like students, especially if they're minors? Probably true, but this isn't a job. And I don't have any pressing need to know. And there aren't many people who go asking a teacher for information on a classmate, are there? Look, it still feels kind of awkward, but I'm making a conscious effort to talk about these things like a normal student. Try not to laugh. Hope you're right. In between stretches of peace, I plunge into the extraordinary. In between periods where I devote my attention to my part-time job, I return to the ordinary. At that rate, as that ratio has slowly shifted, I've developed a persistent, nagging discomfort with myself. And there's a part of me that doesn't even want that to change. A part of me that's uneasy about getting too used to this. <sighs> Normal student. <laughs> Normal student! <laughs> if you actually mean that, you've got pretty eccentric taste in entertainment. <laughs> Judging from the steadily increasing quantity of knickknacks in this office, I guess I can believe it. Even as she speaks, the principal stealthily palms a few desk toys and drops them in a drawer. This instinctive sneakiness might have something to do with how she clawed her way up the ladder. Alright, I think it's about time I headed back. <laughs> it's so weird that we're, like, chummy with the principal. <laughs> it's very strange. I've already eaten lunch, if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? The principal winks suggestively as she speaks. Unfortunately, I don't quite follow. What does the woman want me to do? True enough. In that case, I'll kill some time trying to guess your age, Chizuru. I retract any previous compliments I may have given you. Wow. When I return to the classroom, Sachi's eating her lunch by herself. Is she eating more? What, what was she eating earlier? Where she's just like, this is pretty much all I eat. Was it like a protein bar? 
For once, she's actually spread out a proper lunchbox. A rare sight indeed. From what I've seen, Sachi almost always goes for light, efficient meals. Oh, that's right, the biscuits. A lunchbox today, huh? I see. For a leftovers lunch, it's pretty, a pretty decent spread. At a glance, she's got an omelet with Vienna sausages, mini tomatoes, and broccoli. A colorful and well-balanced assortment. Pass. Doesn't exactly have the master housewife impression of an omelet meal, but it's fair to call it a nicely made lunch. <laughs> I, I had a I had a chicken wrap before this. I won't be hungry for until dinner though. You did cook at Michiru's request the other day. Come to think of it, are you actually something of a chef? Well, Amane's parents have a restaurant, so as if to demonstrate, Sachi pulls a cookbook out of her desk and flips it open to a photograph of an omelet. It's strikingly similar to the one in her lunchbox. No need to be modest. Making it look exactly like the book is impressive in its own right. What? What? No. What is it with you, Sachi? Your thoughts always run on in these unique directions. Your boyfriend had never been to Five Guys before? Oh, well, you probably just changed his life today. Five Guys is freaking amazing. Oh, also, Marty, I should tell you, so I got kind of worried because yesterday my laptop charger just frayed and wouldn't work. So I had to go to Best Buy today in order to buy a new one. And you'll never believe it, right next to the Best Buy, I didn't even know we had these in Michigan, there was a Sonics. I debated going there, but I didn't, because I had a lot of leftovers that I still have to go through, but I might, I didn't even know we had Sonics here. I might have to try that one of these days. In the first place, why would I be after Omni's spit? What the heck? Once the conversation comes to a pause, Sachi smoothly returns to her lunch, carrying food in her mouth with the regular rhythm of a workman on an assembly line. As I'm watching her oddly mechanical behavior, the principal's words flit across my mind. Hey, Sachi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. The holy, the holy grail of fast food restaurants that I didn't think ever made it to Michigan. First of all, you can chew and swallow what you've got in your mouth before trying to talk. <laughs> With a small nod, Sachi wholeheartedly devotes her attention to <laughs> mastication for a few moments. Yeah, I was wondering if you have some sort of regular method of letting off steam. You know, managing your stress. I want a Chick-fil-A to replace what used to be Chick-fil-A at your college. Why not? Sachi is just impervious to stress. Hmm... That's honestly pretty hard to swallow. But judging from Sachi's expression, I don't think she's outright lying to me. They do say that in America, where they don't really have the concept of stiff shoulders, nobody complains of the symptoms. Maybe this is a similar case? So what? Does Michiru have some daily stress relief method? You hate Five Guys, Nick? What? I mean, I guess... I get it. They have a limited menu, and if you don't like it, you don't like it. I, I love Five Guys, though. I don't, I don't get the people who are, like, upset at Chick-fil-A's, like, the CEO's personal beliefs. Like, I really don't get that. <laughs> uh, well, whatever. People are allowed to... 
the way I see it, if you don't want to eat at Chick-fil-A, don't eat at Chick-fil-A. Just don't take it away from other people. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mom's the word and the pops the action. <laughs> Why is she getting so upset? Oh, this is Michiru's room. Aw, that's a cute room. <laughs> she would be the one to have stuffed animals, wouldn't she? Along with Machina. <laughs> this is also a very spick and span room, like, no dust anywhere. <laughs> How, what? Sachi, what's going on? <laughs> Habit Burger? I've, I've never heard of that before. Well, I mean, if you've got your own better burger place, then props to you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true, Nick. They don't, like, hate that community. They just have religious beliefs that conflict with the alphabet community. The way I see it, they make good chicken. <laughs> and again, yeah, if you don't want to eat a Chick-fil-A, you don't have to. I just... I, I don't like the idea of, like, I don't like Chick-fil-A, so I'm going to get it torn down from this university so no one can eat at Chick-fil-A. Why are we getting these hearts transitions? No, don't magic market the rabbit. <laughs> she just has one in her pocket at all times. The what? <laughs> oh, boy. Where is this going? I think I know where this is going, but I hope it's not going in that direction. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you're doing with it, Michiru. Of course. <laughs> that poor bunny. <laughs> <gasps> what that poor rabbit? <laughs> the hell is wrong with that bottle blonde? <laughs> no, that won't be necessary. <laughs> Although it's a little sad to say this myself, dropping a fancy stuffed animal in the middle of that dreary room of mine would be p painfully awkward. And the idea of having a matching set of anything with Michiru is even less appealing. Anyway, something came to mind while I was listening to all this. If you don't, if you really don't relax, what do you do with your free time? In other words, you're like a shark, always moving even when at rest. Well, probably so. So what? You're telling me to follow you around from morning to night? That wouldn't be creepy at all. Hmm. From what I understand, Sachi's proposal isn't problematic in terms of the school's rules, but... I'm a little hesitant to peep into her private life out of mere curiosity. Read my mind, huh? Alright, how about after class ends tomorrow? Yes, 
Is this just like the weirdest date ever? What are you preparing for exactly? After school tomorrow, huh? Things have taken a somewhat strange turn, but I can't deny that I've gotten slightly curious about Sachi's way of life. Should be an... interesting experience, if nothing else. Is someone driving a car in the hallway? <laughs> huh? <laughs> a distinctive droning sound strikingly out of place in this quiet coastal town. Guess I've got a visitor. Oh no, is it the bimbo mobile? As expected, when I head out to the school gate, a genuine blonde emer a genuine blonde emerges from the interior of her prancing horse. Yep, it's the bimbo mobile. That's a different outfit. Not bad as of three minutes ago. Unfortunately, my mood just took a nosedive. Nice necklace, by the way, Jan. If I was really dealing with a woman, I'd be a little more careful with my words. But I was taught to be frank and to the point with my superiors. Yes, the Bimbo Mobile. I didn't make up that name. The game literally said <laughs> she drives an extremely flashy and gaudy yellow sports car, and the main character calls it the Bimbo Mobile. <laughs> and it's it's pretty good. <laughs> it's your fault for putting on that ridiculous marble mouthed airhead act in the first place. <laughs> Which makes the way you always pretend to be one downright sadistic. So, what's with the sudden visit? Some urgent business come up? Oh no. Oh no. What, work not keeping you busy these days? Uh oh. Fine, we'll leave it at that. Uh-huh. The hell? What if I tell you I can't control my libido anymore? Are you going to take care of that for me? Oh, boy. Sorry, my bad. You are not my big sister. <laughs> You're not my mom! You're not my dad! <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Seriously, I've got exactly no problems worth mentioning. This place is almost comically well-equipped, and my allowance is more than enough for my everyday needs. Oh, you're getting an allowance? No wonder you're able to buy the Girl Scout cookies. And a new refrigerator. You satisfied now? <laughs> <laughs> I will echo that, Marty. It's not a bad habit. It's not a bad outfit. It's just showing showing too much cleavage. Yeah, that's right. What's anything else supposed to mean? Well, little Timmy fell down fell down the well the other day, but I saved him. Sorry, but what do you care? Oh, Michiru has a pet cat, and it's cute. Oh, brother. Hmm. After all these years, JB probably knows me better than anyone else alive. I don't think she'd ask me this question for no reason whatsoever. Alright then, let me ask your opinion on something. What would you think about someone who's never ever refused anyone's orders? Even once. Or turned down a request for that matter. Oh, he's actually serious. I thought he was about to do like a weird hypothetical. No. No, no, we are not. I'm asking about your thoughts as my superior on this one. JB slowly brings her hand to her chin. In the next instant, her hair her, her hair her hair starts glow glowing. Her eyes grow sharp and serious. It's a familiar sight. I guess you could call it her business face. When JB switches into work mode, she has a habit of putting that expression on like a suit of armor. Her first name is Julia. I don't know what the B stands for, but... I, know, I just call her Jan, because she reminds me of Jan from The Office. 
thought as much. There's more. The person in question doesn't seem to experience any stress in their daily life. I'm with you there. Exactly. So what happens when that builds up without the person in question even noticing it? I guess you could say I'm slightly concerned. Yeah, sure, her head's gonna pop off like Francine's. So. With that non-committal response as a line of d demarcation, JB relaxes her face in and lets the tension drain out of her body. Yeah. When I get a nagging sense of concern like this, it's almost never just me overthinking things. I've got good instincts, if nothing else. That was the reason I confirmed my impressions of Chizuru as well. If I'm not wrong about this, then... What is? I just tried to give you what you wanted to hear. If that was supposed to be an imitation of me, I'd recommend giving up on your dream of becoming a comedian after retirement. <laughs> that was a serious dream she had. <laughs> if there's one thing teenage guys are interested in, it's fashion. Gunpowder is the best cologne. Can't deny it. You do that. Do me a favor and give a little advice warning next advance warning next time. It's bad for my heart to have beautiful women popping up out of nowhere. Smirking, JB slides her sunglasses back into place. With smooth practice movements of her hands, she steers the prancing horse away from the school. In the blink of an eye, it's disappeared into the distance. That engine never gets any less obnoxious. Out of consideration for our neighbors, maybe I should stuff some potatoes into the muffler next time I have the chance. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> In any case, JB has a point. If I was still the same person who had impassively devoted himself to the job, I wouldn't have developed this kind of an interest in Sachi's personal life. Quite the opposite, I'd be keeping potential trouble at arm's length. Of course, in this case, my doormate's problem might be ha might have repercussions for me, but there's definitely a part of this that can't be explained by simple self-interest. Apparently, this change in my thinking is dramatic enough to take even JB by surprise. In that sense... I guess the first problem is that I can't even tell why I'm changing. 